friend I had to watch I love you again Fuck Norm of the North. I hate him so much. <laughs> I hate him so much. God, I hate him. He's a dumb, stupid bear, and I fucking hate his guts. And I'm better at the Oscars than David, so I made David watch all his dumb, stupid, you. bad, dumb, polar bear, nonsense, garbage movies. David, I'm sorry for what I did to you. It was a rough 24 hours. Oh, there we go. Back to the piano. <laughs> Hello, Normie, uh, my old friend. <laughs> Ethan, I got some bad news for you, and I got some bad news for this episode. Mm. I didn't watch any of the Norm of the North movies. Eat my ass. <laughs> I'm just joking. I did. It sucked. It was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, David, what is Norm of the North? Who's Norm? It, most, Norm? I feel like most of our audience has not seen Norm of the North. So can you tell me about this cool, fun polar bear? Norm is a polar bear, mm. unlike other polar bears, who is able to speak... Human. Hmm. English. Uh, he is unable to... Ca- I think. He- nope. Nope. They never say English. <laughs> they never say English. They only say human. Um, He is unable to catch seals and is only able to eat food that is served to him, yet he is a slightly husky bear uh, who is not infrequent to bust a move. Uh, this is a dancing bear. <laughs> he-, he sure is. He dances quite a bit. I'm pretty sure every movie ends with a uh, a dance number. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. It's almost like people were like, the people who came up with this series were like, I think movie, every dancings movie are in. is the same movie. Hot take, not wrong, not wrong at all. <laughs> Except for two. Two is definitely unlike the second half the of other two, three. But the first half of two is the same movie as the rest of them. Accurate. Walk me through the first Norm of the North. We got Rob Schneider as the titular Norm, or Normie, as they so beautifully refer to him as. Walk me through it, David. Norm is a polar bear. And with him... Holy shit, sorry. Gro- Baby Gru just fell off my microphone. My, my desk. Oh my god. He's like, oh no, not Norm. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. I am Norm. Uh, so Norm and his three pals, Lemming Bros, who don't have names, no, they're who don't, just don't talk. They are just lemmings who Somewhere have between the penguins of Madagascar, minions, and G Force. Holy fuck! That is the most accurate description. So Norm is concerned that uh, the North Pole is going to be uh, uh, taken over by a pro- uh, 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 a land developer. Green Houses? That's hmm, spelled yes. with a third E, I believe is the company name. Mm-hmm. Um, so he goes to New York City to stop the sale by becoming a super popular uh, animal mascot for this company uh, by singing and dancing and doing things like that. Um, but then, A faultless plan. Uh, because because the, 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 the CEO of this company needs to get the, uh, what is it, the uh, the North Pole uh, uh, cha- Chamber of Commerce, <laughs> essentially, uh, uh, on his side for it. But, plot twist, fuck it, we're just going to go out, go, go, go through without the approval. Um, did you notice that in the movie? Yeah, they he just kind of skipped it. So, like, he works so hard. He goes through by, like, setting up, like, a big thing to, like, have Norm come down and give a speech to everybody where Norm is planning on saying, I don't want this to happen. But somehow he has, like, an audio bit of Norm saying that he does support the houses and want it to go through, which then boosts the approval rating to, like, 85%, which would get the the council's okay on this. But then he's like, fuck it, we're just going to go through it without the okay. And it's like... Wait a second. But you got I thought it. we needed the okay then. Yeah. It's really weird. Um, and there's a grandfather bear who's in a cage. Um, <laughs> Just casual bear things. And, like, apparently Norm's stronger than the grandfather bear, and he's just able to, like, bust the cage open, which I'm like, why can't the grandfather sheer bear force. bust the fuck? Yeah, well, because he's can't... such a powerful entity. 
<laughs> Why can't Grandfather Bear just open the cage? Because he's not Norma the fucking North. Just so bad. Why how do you feel really about the animation? Though? So, comparatively to the other Norm movies, it's fine. Compared to any other animated children's movie, it's fucking dog shit. Um, yeah. Um, so, David, you went through and made notes uh, on all these. Uh, I'm just going to read off the notes back to you and, and see how you feel. Imagine being the parents slowing your child to run towards three polar bears, and rather than stopping them, you just take pictures. Yep. Why is there a whale on land? Dude, okay, this is a note in all of my all the movies. I hate this fucking whale. I hate this whale. Doesn't even make sense. Why is the whale just on land? That's not how whales work. Has Norm actually ever eaten? Like, how's he survived so long? He can't catch a seal. He catches a seal and he's just friends with the seal. Wait, so the, was the house just delivered already constructed, or did they just not see the construction go on? So, this does get answered and in, in, in responded to later, because a big crane comes in and just picks up the house mm-hmm. in one piece, and just goes, all right, we're taking the house back. Um, <sighs> yep, continue. Is the only reason for these gerbils because the writers needed a way to rip off Madagascar, and why do they keep peeing? Dude, the pee, they pee so much. <laughs> they pee so much. Um, one quick bring back, pull back, is um there are two scenes in this in this movie where like with the kid with the kid running towards uh Norm, uh or towards the polar bears mm-hmm. to like check them out, where like people are just like, Oh, it's just a polar bear, that's cool. Um and then there's another scene where the, the, the main l- lady character is being chased by a polar bear. And she's just like, this is cool. Like, this is what people want, right? Like, people want to be, <laughs> like, chased by a giant, like, thousand-pound bear. True. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, yep, that's weird. I don't, I don't, I don't get this, like, weird, like, portrayal of uh, polar bears just being, like, cuddly, fucking not vicious. There's animals. a prison? How does he even know he's a grandfather? Or is his name just Gramps? So, yeah, the, the CEO calls the grandfather polar bear Gramps. And it's like, wait a second, like... I think it's just pure ageism. You don't... You don't I, but, like, you don't see, like, an old dog and go, Mom, oh, your name's not Gramps, fucking old dog. You dumb um, old bitch. <laughs> Sushi Chef is cool. Sushi Chef is cool. He randomly takes Norm's side, like, immediately, and is just like, yeah, I'm gonna take this dart gun from the bear and just shoot this... <laughs> this person in my restaurant. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wait so all of this was for approval but then he didn't even wait for approval after he would have probably gotten it yeah he hit the approval rating he needed didn't wait to get approval and then and then goes without the approval even though the entire movie was about waiting for approval it doesn't make sense any any uh, any other things you wanted to note for the first Norm of the North movie? No, fuck this movie. Now we can move along to the second film in the Norm uh, cinematic universe, um, th- the one that was so bad that I made David watch all of them, and that brings us to Norm of the North: Keys to the Kingdom. David, what's uh what's the plot of the movie? Well, I'm glad you asked, because there's two. Um, huh? <laughs> the first one the first one is Norm is sent to New York to uh More like Norm get, York. Get the key to the city. Um, which ends in a boxing match and a helicopter chase. Mm-hmm. Um uh, uh, and then he returns back home. And then I think there's some Russians stealing ice, so they re- resolve it in a hockey game. These stories aren't connected. I know. You're probably, like, thinking, hmm, how are these stories connected? They're not. <laughs> uh, this is two episodes of a children's TV series combined together without any sort of transition period uh, to just be an hour and a half long movie um, for no reason. All right. Uh, true. True. Um, uh, again, I have not, I've not read your notes from this yet, so this is going to be my first time reading, and I'm really excited for the first note you have for this movie, Big Rip, Norm's a Loser. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Walk me through that like, one. 
<laughs> his kids are just like, Dad sucks. He, he can't do anything. <laughs> and Norm hears it. I just imagine being a dad and being like, oh, fuck, my kids think I'm a goddamn loser. I can't do anything. I'm a useless king, too. <laughs> Just such a powerful <laughs> opening note. Big rip, Norm's a loser. I want that on a fucking t-shirt. Holy shit. Did Norm have kids in the first one, or when did that happen? Well, he just has, like, three kids yeah. out of nowhere, and they're, like, old now. And they all and look like, in, like different creatures. And, like, Norm's just been fucking? Like, Norm's just been getting his fuck on true, between sequels? True, true. Norm gets the crown, and he just starts fucking. laying down. God, I, the fact that we're reading these is going to be really awkward when we get to, I think, three or four. I don't remember which one it is. The animation uh, looks noticeably worse. Uh, yeah. It, like, it, it, it went from, like, a D-plus, passable, <laughs> to just an absolute F. Like, it looks so bad. The human specifically, really bad. Did you like, like this the P, big like, muscle mayor man? His big Dude. giant muscle. Okay, the mayor jacked. Um, <laughs> one of the fucking so guys, ripped. I didn't notice it really until like in in the helicopter. But uh, all the fucking caribou also kind of yoked. Like I don't know how. <laughs> like they're fucking hell. fit. Um. Okay, so I can continue through this real long. Also, one of the gerbils. Dude's got some broad shoulders. <laughs> right. So there are there like other animals that can communicate with humans? Is this happening all over the world, or are polar bears the only one? Holy fuck! This was also answered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. There's a there's a talking bunny rabbit. Um, I'm pretty sure he's probably got some. Uh, I don't know. Some he's got some fun racial uh uh stereotypes with him. <clears throat> oh yeah, big time, big time. Um, but I w- I was. Pretty pleased to see that for a second time, call back to the house thing, that my, my thought in the movie was actually answered. Um, Early guess, it's the mayor. <laughs> also, I'm pretty fucking pleased with that one. Yep, yep. Uh, imagine being a mayor and then being found out by a rabbit and a bear. <laughs> I just imagine, That's like, embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're in your big old mayor office, a few police officers... A polar bear and a rabbit. And they're like, fuck, okay, yep. We're, we're taking the side of the polar bear and the rabbit here. It's the mayor. Like, goddamn. The polar bear, bear helicopter jump versus the tower car jump from Fast and the Furious for most physically unlikely things. <laughs> yep. True. Yep. <laughs> I think that speaks for itself right there. Why did they cram in this second ice storyline? Just seems crammed and disconnected like these were two se- different episodes that they just had to put back to back for a second movie. I just yep. didn't even feel like adding notes on the hockey game because I was like, I thought it was over. So like in my mind, my review was done. And then I was like, wait a second, movie number two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so did you notice that Norm cheated? In, in hockey? Yeah, it was supposed to be like a four on four, right? Yeah. And he had just had like three extra seals on the court. Well, if it's the same species, it doesn't really count. Is the, Yeah, but the Russians had robots. Yeah, and they were all the same. That's true. He could have had more robots. It's right, I'm saying much. Norm's a cheat, liar, dumb, big rip, Norm's a loser. <laughs> yeah, no. Ugh. No, big time, big time, um... Yeah, it's Ethan, it's it's embarrassing. Can I say the third one? Actually, my favorite. Big time, like it is a wide margin between the half stars and the one stars, um, because all of the other three suck. Yeah, but Norm of the King North, size adventure, King Sized Adventure is the third Norm of the North film, or I guess fourth, maybe. <laughs> um, yep. Uh, I I I watched this for the first time as well uh and this one was fine like still one star for sure i think i ended up giving it a half a star but still like it's fine it's better than the other two (laughs) and i i was so impressed by it's such a relief for this movie (laughs) like it's weird uh all right right, let's let's can you can you run me through the the plot real quick for for everyone 
Uh, it's Indiana Jones. Um, there's a there's a, there's That's an artifact it. <laughs> yeah. that gets stolen. Yep. Uh, it, Indiana Jones with a uh, polar bear. And so, hundred uh, percent. Let's count how many heist films we've had so far, uh, where people have had I- intense lies and dis- deceit. Holy uh, fuck! All of they're them. They're all heist films. All of them are heist films. Every <laughs> single one is a heist film where a polar bear bumble fucks his way through. And somehow at the end, you know, did everything realized. right. So between 2016 and 2020, we had four movies. Mm-hmm. Okay? We missed 2018 because they crammed two movies into one for number two. Sorry, continue. All right, let's read. Let's um, go through David's notes here. Note number one for Norm of the North, King Size Adventure. Judith, kind of thick. All right, so Judith, <laughs> Judith, <laughs> Judith is kind of thick, though, right? Like, she's a polar bear, and all the polar bears are kind of thick, but Judith is kind of a little extra thick. Yeah, she's saucy she's a, though. She, dude, she's she's she got them, she got them uh, come hither eyes. You know what I mean? She's a purple and eyes and too. I was come with her thighs. <laughs> I'm just saying she's kind of thick. I, I mean, Norm, it speaks for Norm itself. can get it though. It's Norm's grandfather. That's Judith. Judith is. Ju- oh, Gramps fuck. walks up. He goes. Gramps walks yeah, up with Ju- this young. Norm's wife with also this young. Thick. Yeah, but Gramps walks up to Norm. Thick ass purple eyed polar bear on his arms, and he goes, "I need your permission to marry." Judith. I need your permission and- to bone down. Which I'm like, hey, you want okay, a brother? Norm? Also, at some point, the king. <laughs> um. All right. Let's Average go to number two. Average life on. is 20 years old. There is no way Socrates is still alive. <laughs> also, why have the humans aged when Norm's kids have? Was one of those supposed Sorry, to be? Sorry. Why, why? Yeah. Why haven't the human? Mm. The humans haven't aged. But like, Norm met the humans in in one when there's no kids. Now Norm has kids, and they're like older. Why the fuck haven't the humans aged? <laughs> and why is the Socrates alive still? Unless it's just like a different seagull that they keep giving the glasses to calling Socrates? That could be it. If the beats get service in the North Pole, where are the cell towers? Or is this going to be another plot line set up later? No. Nope. I think it's just phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was really a, hoping we're... You were really hoping you'd be like, another one where I'm answered later. Nope. Yep. <laughs> you were teeing yourself up for that. Uh, significant, significantly better animation than the first. Yeah, first two I should have said. Yeah, it, it's um, got it's got decent lighting, like uh, like ray tracing stuff for it. It's nothing crazy good, but like compared no, no, no. to the other two, I think lighting like improved massively in between. Mm-hmm. Um, they got a little bit more complex with some of their moving shots. Noth- again, nothing yeah. crazy. But like no, I mean it's just it's all slight improvements. Um, How did Norm not die from the fall? Dude falls out of a fucking helicopter plane combo thing and lands on fish, <laughs> and they're just like, yeah, he's good. He's just gonna get up and have a snack. <laughs> like, what? No, Norm's dead. Norm is one hundred percent fucking done. New king for the north is needed. Why um, is the whale on land? <laughs> I hate this whale. This whale's the fucking worst. <laughs> the Komodo dragons are cool. Yeah, sure. I mean, they're really cool. They're by far my favorite part of the movie. Okay, that's fair. Honestly, they're they're, they're they like cl- climb bones and stuff. They're my they're my they're the reason that this movie is a whole one story. <laughs> <laughs> what if we did and, Indiana and Jones, Judith. but Norm was a part of it? Yeah, that's basically my final thought of the movie, because that's the movie. Is it's like a cliche ripoff of an Indiana Jones movie with like this artifact that gets stolen and the retrieval of it and like mm, put it back in the museum. Mm. All right. Uh, in, yeah. In this that's case, pretty much that movie. The museums. Yeah. And then they had and then they had the wedding and it was very nice. And man, this rabbit, he just they they won't let him make one dang old ice sculpture and keep it up for more than two seconds, huh? Nope. They just fucking Sorry, keep Mr. taking it down. What's 
What is the rabbit's name? Do we know? Uh, f- f- Fang? Fang? F-E-N-G, oh, I think. That's really bad. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, David, uh, we, uh, we've made it to the final Norm of the North film. Thank God. Holy fuck. Norm of the North. Norm of the North. Vacation. Yes. Norm uh, goes on a family vacation, even though Norm did not want to go on a family vacation. Yeah, he was he was just wanting to check his dang cell phone. Am I the only one who... Oh my god, right? He's a terrible king. He's a bad um, dad, too. He's actually, all around, big rip normal, Norm's a loser. <laughs> I think every single review could have had that. Big rip, Norm's a loser. So my first bullet was... I was really, really swinging big with what I thought this movie was going to be about. (laughs) But I was wrong. Alright, so your first point... uh, Can you tell me what the film is actually about first? Oh, uh, Norm uh, loses his crown and goes to find it. To stop... uh, uh, well, it was, like it was stolen. Ooh. Yeah, oh, sorry. Lost it. It was stolen. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I mean, same thing. Uh, all right. So this movie is finally going to talk about the food crisis and how we've only seen them feed on fish while the first opened with a seal hunt. We're finally going to see the promised land of peace where all the animals exist together crumble and the polar bears are going to start eating the caribou. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a moment. There's a moment where things get pretty tense. It looks. It looks like we're getting close to I that. I know. <laughs> I thought we were gonna see this. I was like, "Fuck yeah, this would be great." It's just like a brutal those, murder. <laughs> those caribous are yoked. It'd be a fight because Norm is not a fighter. No, one of the fucking lemons beat the shit out of the caribou. <laughs> we're talking right, the, sheer the lemon- power Dude. to pound. My God, <laughs> the le- the lemmings are next level. The lemmings legitimately could take over the entire world. They construct stuff with each other, their tools and the, the o- and the, the handlers. The only thing stopping the lemmings from ruling over the entire world is Norm's bad, stinky farts. <laughs> That's That's his role. He protect us. These fucking land whales, <laughs> dude. They just I can't. It. He I don't know why. busts out of the ocean where he lives he, as a whale. He almost takes down the entire fucking like castle. <laughs> he almost kills everyone. <laughs> and Norm's just like, uh, "You're a killer whale. That's <laughs> fucked up." And and the whale was just like, "You're a polar bear. <laughs> We're both <laughs> apex predators. What's up? <laughs> <sighs> why do we have an ice rink when we've established?" Everything is ice. <laughs> That's true. But hey, they called back the ice rink. But I think it's a different ice rink. Honestly, like, it I, like I a different it, ice rink. And I thought about not putting it on because I was like, "Ooh, uh, we're we're establishing that all the movies are actually connected." But then I was like, "No, no, no, fuck this. This is also a stupid point for number two to even have an ice rink." <laughs> when they were like, when they they had us, they had a line where they're like, "Everything here is ice," and it's like, "Why the fuck do we need an ice rink? The fuck." Do they have contact lenses for bears? <laughs> yes, uh, Norm, Norm uh, uses an excuse for why he is searching for, every, for his crown, which he's lost like a big buffoon, big rip, Norm's a loser. Um, <laughs> he says he lost his contact lens. At which point I'm surprised his bear wife wasn't just like, you're a bear. <laughs> what are you talking or like- about? How the fuck do they... How, like, let's say... I think this was the first time we got to see his ice bed, though. True. But let's say, like, lens, contact lenses for bears were real. For a second. How do they put them in? They put them on, like, the end of their claw? And, like, gently place it on? Yeah, like, probably. Do, do you think there's a lot of, like, blonde, like one, one-eyed bears around? Probably. That just had a fucking killer wear burst through into the room while they were putting on their contact lenses? <laughs> uh, yep. I have a feeling throwing snowballs into fish tanks would have some sort of negative impact on the fish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably. Like, I, I'd probably put them all into like shock, and they probably die. Yeah. So right? at this point, we we've made it to the place where they're doing a uh, a family vacation slash uh, heist retrieval, uh, and it's actually it's kind of a 
a cool little environment. I gotta say, it, it's just I don't know. It's not just ice. So uh, maybe that it's just makes, lights. Makes, it's just neon lights. Yeah, but they're like little houses made of made of bright colors, and you got these cool little tigers that are like light years better designed than the fucking polar bears are. True. So True. that's at least something. Did the twins just kill their own dad? This is taking. A- <laughs> Do you know when this is? Do you know when this is? Yeah. <laughs> this is the fucking the dad the the dad's like. All right, we're going into the cave. We gotta be careful. <laughs> I know all the booby traps. Ball. And he takes one step, and he gets fucking <laughs> plowed by a, t- a ton of snow. And it's like he's dead. He's a hundred percent dead. Now the last like, cave puzzle that Norm had to figure out, he he saw sol- he actually solved it really quickly because there were two options, right, for yin and yang in in the previous film. And he was mm-hmm. like, "Well, I'm gonna throw a rock at the other one and see if it has an adverse effect to figure it out." And he did, and he solved it like a competent bear, which was the wildest thing the movie had supposed thus far. And in this one, he's just like, I guess I'll just kind of dodge him. <laughs> um, I don't like um, this whale one bit. <laughs> the whale is by far my least favorite character. Did you like in the in second all four movie? Of the movies. Where the whale ate the lemmings like four times in the exact same shot, reused over and over. Fuck. How do you feel about that? Fuck. It's fantastic. I hate this whale. This whale's the worst character. I don't know who wrote the whale character. He's not cool. He's not cool one bit. Uh, I kind of liked the sonar bit, though. I was like, oh, that's, no. that's actually oh something. Oh my god. It's like, what? Like, the sea turtle? Sure. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? The sea turtles don't have sonar. That's not how it works. <laughs> I don't think this crown situation is that serious. <laughs> like, let's all calm down. No, he's got to put it on the on the fucking thing, or else. And it's not. not a, every movie starts off with Socrates being like, "Norm, you are fucking dog shit at being a ruler." <laughs> And then at the end of the Big movie, rip, Norm's, Norm's like, I guess I'm a good ruler now. And the next film, Socrates <laughs> like, actually, you're still fucking garbage at it. Just because you happen to fart your way down a set of stairs to, like, accidentally unveil something that was bad doesn't make you good or competent in any regards. Even let's dive in and fix all the, all the Norm movies. Oh, you have a fix for him? No. Oh. No, I don't. I think I think Norm of the North, the series of movies, makes the best case for pro climate change. <laughs> like it makes a good like it makes me want to fucking go and get all the, the greenhouse gases and fossil fuel. It makes me want to burn them myself. Just to fucking destroy this man's home. Jesus Christ. Just to kill these all of these creatures. Um, you know, I don't disagree. <laughs> hot, hot take. I mean, fucking um, John Oliver Bird at least is, you know, you know, I won't even say he's competent. He's just as Socrates? fucking bum, bumbly as, as the rest of them. Ethan, it, it pains me that, that you would have had me watch these. It, it was not fun. Yeah, they're all fucking glorious though, right? So I think I, I would highly recommend everyone to go out and uh, watch these. <laughs> Buy them on Blu-ray. It is 4K. an experience. It's it's bad. It's bad. The lemmings. The lemmings are something. Else. Here's here's what I'll say. They it is it is rare that I get movies that completely shock me. And every single Norm of the North movie, there were times where I just couldn't believe it was this bad. Even even on the fourth movie, when I'd already been through three of these goddamn trash heaps, there were points where I'm like, oh, fucking goddamn. Every single time Norm tries to tell a joke, Holy it is the most shit. boomer garbage I've ever heard. Whether that's, don't let your meatloaf, here's Normie. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, there was one there was one from the third one that just really fucking like actively hurt me. Like I had to I had to stop the movie for a second. 
just to like breathe just to like compose myself from how how much hate i had felt you think i got some really good news for you yeah i found another animated series directed by the same director as two of the norm of the north movies this series has eight movies no no <laughs> fucking leaving <laughs> Ethan? Ethan? Ethan, where are you? I can't I can't watch Alpha and Omega 8 movie series by myself. 